Mac OS Sierra right here. And the first thing you'll notice is right here on the dock, we have access to Siri. So I can ask Siri a question. Let's say, how do you like being on a Mac? Pretty awesome. Lots of space, aluminum unibody walls, and no complaint about the lack of windows. <laughs> So much more. Things like sophisticated queries for files, like show the files I worked on last week about the offsite. Have I ever told you your file in is so styling? So we have <laughs> my search results. Hey, what's really incredible is I can refine that sophisticated query with a follow-on, like just the ones Ken sent me that I tagged with draft. For your filing pleasure. So you see, I have just the files I'm looking for right there. But what's great is this is a useful result that I may want to use throughout the day as I work. So I can actually click on this plus button and pin it right here into my notification center. And it's, yeah, it's really great. So I'm actually open this team offsite presentation, uh, just working on a little, little project here. I'll take this one full screen. We see we're planning an offsite. There are a bunch of activities, but while I'm looking at full screen, Siri's there for me. It helps me multitask. So I can do things like play my power ballads playlist. Search the web for me. So let's do uh, search the web for pictures of falconry. Here are some images of falconry I found on the web. Okay, that looks like some good fun. So I can actually take the results right out of Siri and drag them into my document. Pretty awesome. <laughs> you know, I'd like to um, actually replace this map with one that I've been working on here on my iPad. My iPad's so great because I can actually use my Apple Pencil to do some drawing. So let's see, I'm going to take my Apple Pencil here and I'm going to draw a path. Maybe we'll, we'll take a height like this, maybe out of here, just like that. Okay, that looks like just the uh, drawing I want. But of course, I'd like to now get it on my Mac. So how do I do that? Well, why don't I just copy it? But I'm going to just copy it to my iPad because when I return to my Mac, I can paste it just like I would anything else. Actually wirelessly transfers it automatically right So now that I looked at this trip, I realized that it's a horrible idea. So I can actually use Siri to message uh, my friend, tell Ken, maybe we should just see a movie. <laughs> Here's your message. Ready to send it? You bet. Send. So I can use Siri, of course, to do messaging at any time, and it can also help me Find that movie. What new movies are playing this Friday? I found eight movies playing on Friday. All right, so Siri's giving me some results, and uh, Finding Dory looks pretty good, so let's open that up. Now I can go play the trailer. But I can also drop right here into Picture in Picture. And you see in Picture in Picture, I can actually resize if I want. I can reposition the pit window to any corner, and of course, it works great in full screen, right on top of my other content. So this movie looks pretty good, so I think I'll go back into the browser, and let's actually buy some tickets. So I see there's a show in here at 7.15, I'll select that. Select the amount, let's go with uh, 10 of us, and here you see buy with Apple Pay button. So watch what happens, when I click buy with Apple Pay, I'm prompted to confirm here on my iPhone. I just use Touch ID with my fingerprint, and I can securely authenticate my transaction just like that.
We're doing a public beta in July. You can sign up now at beta.io.com, and it'll be available to everyone else in the fall across all of these systems.